Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And this week we're going to be doing something different. We're going to go bass fishing, and I've done that in a long time because the weather's been bad. It's been raining for the past two weeks. And Sunday's supposed to be pretty nice. We're going to get out there tomorrow and see if we can catch some fish. But what I really want to talk to you guys about is I got something new. I'm super stoked about it. It's so cool. I got a drone. I got the Discovery FPV. And this is what it looks like out of the box. And I've been practicing with it around outside the house a little bit. I took a couple shots. And they're not the best shots, but I'm just beginning more practice. And it'll start to look better. But, yeah, I'm going to put a clip of that in right after I'm done talking right here. And just explain what we're going to do tomorrow. What we're going to do is we're just going to... My dad's going to Lake Stevens to go kokanee fishing. And me and Avery, Northwest Bassin, are going to go to Cassidy for trout and bass. And just whatever's biting. I don't really have a plan of what we're going to start out with. But we're just going to try all sorts of stuff and see what works. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy the drone footage. And I'll probably pick up the camera again tomorrow morning or when Avery gets here. I'm not sure yet. Alright, so thanks guys. Welcome back to another episode. Well, it's technically still the same episode, but a new day. Avery's back there. And today we're on Lake Cassidy. I fished it once last year. He's never fished it. We're gonna go for either trout or bass, just whatever's biting. And I pick up the camera next time something happens. What I'm doing is I'm starting out with a jig, just flipping it and pitching into all these little brush laydowns. And Avery just snapped off a Senko, but he's gonna put on a Texas rig. And we're just gonna keep doing this until we get some action. All right, guys, here's another little update. Uh, we got a couple bites with the bass fishing, but I think it's just too cold out. It was 28 degrees this morning, but the sun is starting to come out, and it's really bright, and it's starting to warm up. So we're gonna go try for some trout, and then later in the day, once it does get kind of hot, we're gonna go back to bass. The other thing I forgot to mention earlier is so. In the beginning of this video, you saw that I got a drone the other day, and hold on, the sun's not really focusing it. But I brought it out today, and I was like, I'm gonna fly it, just see what, see what I can do. Hopefully, I don't crash it. And I did good. I got some cool footage of it, and I didn't crash it, and I landed it. And I was viewing the film, and it didn't really work. I don't know why. But then I brought it to the water just to fix it, and I dropped the SD card in the water. So, I don't really have any more drone footage. Uh, I'll try and fix that problem when I get home. But, yeah, drone footage would have been cool, but I'll get better at it. I'll get more practice, and then it'll all work out. Still, no trout, no bass. Nothing's working yet. But I think we're going to go to the middle of the lake and drop shot and see what we can get. This is kind of cool. Me and Avery found this little, I don't know what to call it, like a path. Or like, I don't know what to call it, but I've fished it before and I never saw this. It's super long. So the main lake is all the way over there. And we just went like this little tiny little 
opening that we saw, and it's led so far, and then it goes all the way down there. How far do you think like this goes, like a mile? Half a mile? But yeah, we don't know where the end is. We're just gonna keep following it, and maybe this is where all the bass are hiding. So we'll see. So we decided to go to the end, and we found a road right here with a bridge going over it. And this is a lake, so I don't know where this leads to. See, watch, here comes a car. And so yeah, I don't know where the end of this goes. This is pretty cool though, how we found this. This is so far back. This is what it looks like, we got to the bridge, it's like really and it cool. flows underneath here. So I don't know what it leads to over there. I don't even know if you can see that, the sun's in my eyes. But this is crazy. I don't, the lake's all the way back there. Okay guys, well fishing didn't really go as planned. I mean, we didn't get any any fish. Got a couple bites, but no fish, like I said. We might go to Cabell's or something. Not sure, to Cabell's or Dick's, and then vlog there. But if I don't vlog, and if I don't say anything back at my house, thank you guys for watching. And pick up the camera if we do go to Cabell's. Me and Avery made it to Cabela's. And I don't really know what I'm gonna buy yet. Just, just looking to come look at stuff. I mentioned in my last Cabela's vlog, I think. Uh, I never bought it last vlog, but I'm gonna buy it today, I think. I'm gonna buy the President of So I don't know if I'm gonna buy it right now, but I think I'm coming back later with some of my family. And I'll buy that. The rod I'm most likely gonna pair it up with is this Abu Garcia Vigilante. Vigilante, I don't know how to say it. But they're 20 bucks right now, so pretty good deal since they're on sale. All right, guys, it is now almost six o'clock, and I've picked up the camera for a couple hours now just because I've been editing a little bit. And so first, you, you saw me vlogging. I went to Cabela's with Avery, and then we came back home, and then I went to Cabela's again, and I picked up some new stuff, and it's pretty cool. I got a new combo. And I got the Abu Garcia Vigilante, that's how you say it. It's a seven foot medium heavy, and it's a spinning rod, if I didn't mention that yet. And the reel I got is the Fluger President. My favorite part about it is the cork candle and the rest of it is gray and red. So it looks pretty sweet. It has 10 bearings. So I'm gonna use it for my all around spinning rod slash drop shot rod. And at Cabela's I didn't get any other lures or anything just cause that was expensive enough as it is. It was about a hundred dollar combo and my camera's about to die, so I gotta go. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the support. Make sure to comment.